All right. Nice to walk away uh, with a victory. Um, that being said, I feel like we can play a whole lot better. I think everyone probably saw moments of that. Uh, but you can't go through that game without recognizing, uh, you know, having the all-time uh, touchdown leader in the NCAA with Dylan Gabriel and um, what he was able to accomplish there. He'll be the first one to tell you he doesn't care, but he should because that's a really special moment for him. So I'm glad that we got to celebrate that tonight uh, with him. You know, some really advantageous moments on defense, creating takeaways, uh, some some – you know, back against the wall moments too, where we uh, took some risk and guys, you know, took advantage of it, like Jordan Birch's run there on the on the fake punt. So, that being said, we can open it up. Start here on the left, right. Dan, just your impression of, of the game that Jordan had. Obviously, you know, opening it up with the with the fumble forced, and then um, you know, getting the run on on the fake punt, and any update, obviously, on his health. Yeah, I think he's fine. Just tweaked his ankle a little bit, but uh, you know, I, I'll have to watch the film. But you know, obviously, Jordan has some game changing plays in this game. Front right, Zach. Both penalties for 95 yards after that had been so improved this year from the start of the year. What do you think happened tonight? Yeah, uh, you know, it's poor, poor, poor performance by us. We got to go back and look at the film and figure out how we can eliminate that. But we didn't play clean. So, I, you know, I don't know if we were distracted or we weren't focused. You know, I felt like our guys had good energy and enthusiasm. But, you know, we put ourselves in some bad spots on defense, giving them opportunities for first downs and hurt ourselves with some pre-snap penalties on offense. So it's definitely something for us to attack and clean up. In the right here. Early thoughts on just how the offensive line played with a couple new guys in there? Yeah, I'll have to go evaluate it. You know, I don't think we played well as enough as, as a team tonight, but I'm not going to say that's the offensive line. Here on the left. Uh, six pass breakups for the defensive line tonight. How does What does it mean for those guys to be able to make an impact besides just getting to the uh, quarterback in terms of pass defense? Yeah, we knew the ball was going to be out quick. You know, that was something that we had anticipated playing these guys and felt like that there was going to be more, more more moments to create, you know, PBUs on the defensive line than necessarily sacks. You know, we didn't feel like they were going to hold onto the ball long. Um, so that was a big point of emphasis, and those guys executed that. Back right, right. Coach, what went into the decision on that last play from Gabriel to Janoris just seemed like a really special moment to make that kind of happen. Just why did you ultimately go with that play call in that situation? We said we liked that play from the three-yard line in our staff meeting this morning. We were at the three-yard line, I think. So that's why we ran it. On the left, Bill. Dan, the offense had stalled out a couple times, obviously start the third quarter. Um, what was your – what inspired the, the the fake on the punt? What inspired to go to Jordan there? And then you did some other just really unconventional stuff on that drive, guys who don't normally have the ball in their hands. You know, what were you kind of trying to I know score, but like what were you what were you trying to kind of get out of your whole play time? to win. Yeah, you know, we were playing to, to to go win and you know ultimately, like you mentioned, we kinda of stalled out in the third. I didn't want that to be the case. We felt good about the fake that we had dialed up. You know, felt like there was even some moments maybe in the first half to utilize it and um, did a great job there, you know executing it and keeping the drive alive and creating some momentum for us there in the third quarter. Back left, Matt. After Wednesday's practice, you came to us and told us you weren't happy with the execution on the field. How much do you feel like that attributed the, this week to how you played today? I think generally the, it, there's always a correlation between how you practice and how you play. Um, you know, that being said, I don't think we had necessarily a bad week of practice, but there's, there's definitely some points of improvement for us. Front left, James. With the punt return and open audition, just what did you think between Evan having a tough one that, that first go and, uh, and turning to Gary the rest of the way? Yeah, I mean, it's just something we, again, we talked about. You know, you, you don't want to see that happen. We felt good about Evan. He's fielded a whole lot of uh, punts uh, in practice and been really good at it, but didn't execute there. Um, and, you know, Gary came in and was sure handed. Um, it looked like you guys on the first two drives. It Looked, it almost looked like it was a completely different offense, going three and out to open the game and then having a really strong drive immediately after. I'm just wondering if, if you saw anything different on those two drives. We are calling the plays we, we normally call. They just didn't work. You mentioned um, kind of just a lack of overall a great performance tonight earlier. Um, do you think, you know, is that a lack of execution or a lack of effort coming into the night, or where is that? I don't Reaction think it's a lack of effort, but it was maybe a lack of focus, right, and, and a good reset for our team to be able to do that. And then you also have to give credit. You know, Maryland had a good plan. They're coming off a bye week, and, and they had some good answers for some of the stuff that we do. Right here on the right, Zach. As a coach, can you kind of explain the joy that you get from seeing someone like Janoris Wilson score a touchdown and kind of the, the energy that gives to your team? Yeah, I do think momentum's real in a football game. Um, and again, as a play that we like, you know, I think that's the cleanest he's caught that play since we practiced it. You know, so I was really glad to see him go attack the ball the way he did. I uh, thought he got a good, good um, execution, good throw. So it was good to see it happen. Back middle, Ron. 
seemed like you guys uh, really came out trying to pass the ball and then establish the run a little bit later. Was there something you guys saw against the defense that you really wanted to get the pass going first? Yeah, we felt like this is a team that we were going to be able to create some, you know, explosive passes, and, and that didn't really happen tonight. So um, we didn't do a great job there, somewhere to improve, but we were able to kind of lean back in on our run game there in the second half. Bill, there are games, especially in this first season in the Big Ten, that are just like obviously huge moments for this team. You get Ohio State here, you go to the Big House, you go to Wisconsin. This game doesn't necessarily jump off the schedule as one of those. Do you think that that? in some ways could have contributed to the focus, the issues that you were talking about, and I hate to say overlooked, but do you think maybe mentally guys could have? We didn't play as well as we could, right? There's no doubt about that. I don't think our guys had uh, a lack of prep, you know, but we, we didn't play as well as we can. So, you know, I'd say every game this year, I felt like we've grown. Uh, this one, you know, we got some growing moments. So we're gonna go learn from it and improve. Back left, Matt. With Dave and Gary both now playing, how do you feel like they can help each of their position groups in the next couple weeks games as the season progresses. Yeah, continue to get better, right? Focus on where can where can they help this team and improve uh, to make us the best version of ourselves. Right on the left. Back. Uh, first time having a game plan around not having Tez in the lineup at receiver. What do you think about what the pass catching group did uh, to step up around his absence today? Yeah, I, I'll have to go watch the film and evaluate it. Um, you know, I thought we had some drops early on. I also think Dylan would tell you he could put the ball in better spots, you know, early on. But uh, that's something that we have to be able to execute. And when you don't do that, that's going to stall out some drives early, which showed up. From the left, James. When containing their receiving core was obviously a huge part of this game. How do you feel like you guys did where Felton held a 72 and Prather hadn't been held that low since the end of last season? Yeah, they, I mean, they're really good wideouts. Um, we felt like they're some of the best that we've gone against this year. So, you know, to be able to come out and, and play aggressively, you know, put our guys on islands at times, um, you know, I thought the guys executed that. That being said, I think our technique can definitely clean up. Second row, Brady, on the left. So far this season, your defensive unit has been able to be extremely effective without necessarily forcing a ton of turnovers. Is there an excitement in the locker room to have commit, or turned over th three times a day and... I'll say we always emphasize it, but this week in particular, we emphasized it more. Um, and I always say turnovers come in bunches, so they came in bunches tonight. On the right, Eric. More pass interferences than we've seen from a while from your guys. Was there a correlation there, anything that needs to be changed? I'll have to watch the film. I'm not, I'm not positive. You know, some of them I thought were close. Back middle row. Something non-football related, but I remember, I believe it was last year you spoke out about gun violence. Uh, there was a decision made in this country that I'm sure affects a lot of the players in your locker room, as well as the women in your life and the women on your staff. What was sort of the temperature in the locker room or with your team as a whole after that, you know, the results were in? And was that something that sparked one of those get real conversations? Yeah, our guys just work. They just work. You know, so obviously, uh, gun violence is something I've been passionate about. But uh, that our guys just line up and go to work every single day. I'm, I'm gl glad to be in the country that we're in. Certainly proud to be an American and excited about uh, the future of uh, this country. But I'm not one to hop into politics. Front left, James. Jordan James only had one carry in the second half. Just was there a reason behind that? Is he okay health -wise? Yeah, I have to evaluate. I'm, we're not, I'm not exactly sure where he's at. I think he could have gone back in, but uh, we're being pretty conscientious of, of where he was. That's all we have for you, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Congrats on the win.